during design phase, we require to shortlist some way to power up our IP CCTV cameras. There are several ways we can do this. In this video, we will discuss about all these methods. But before we proceed, I request you to subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification button, comment, like and share. You may also browse our old videos and we are sure you definitely will find them useful. We keep posting useful updates, tips and tricks in our videos. So if you do not subscribe now, you are going to lose a lot. Most of the cameras are designed to be powered by 12 volt DC power. So we can use DC source like a DC adapter to power up a single camera. Or we can use multiple output power supply if the number of cameras is more than one. The low side of this method is that we have to run an additional cable from DC power source up to the camera. This may give you a headache especially if you have to install large number of cameras. Let's come to the next method. In this method we will use a pair of PoE splitter. At the switch end, splitter is used to combine power provided by external DC source such as DC adapter with data to enable it to run on single Ethernet cable. At the camera end, it is again split back into power and data which is then connected to power and data ports of the camera. This method allows us to eliminate the need to run additional cable to provide power to the camera. Third method involves the use of PoE switch. Each port of a PoE switch usually provide interface both for data and power. This means that Ethernet cable connected to the port carry both data and power for the camera. So there is no need to lay separate cables for camera power. The last method that we will discuss is the use of PoE injector. PoE injector is similar to PoE splitter. The only difference is that injector has an inbuilt DC power source. Similar to PoE splitter, it also combines power and data to enable it to run on single Ethernet cable. This method will also eliminate the need to run additional cable to provide power to the camera. All the methods discussed so far have their own applicability and can be used depending upon the architecture, site requirements and availability of the budget.